Chlamydia is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections. It's caused by a bacteria called Chlamydia trachomatis. As I said, it's a sexually transmitted infection, so you pass it on if you have unprotected sex. The symptoms might include genital pain, stinging or burning, discharge or abnormal bleeding. It's really important to get tested on a regular basis. In England, the advice is if you're under 25, you need to get tested once a year or every time you change partners. This is good advice to carry on wherever you live, really. If you're over 25 and if you're in a more stable relationship, then you don't need to get tested as often. You get chlamydia through sex. All kinds of sex can lead to chlamydia being passed on. So whether it's vaginal, oral or anal, you can pass on the bacteria if you're carrying it yourself. It's important to remember this because if you're using a condom, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get chlamydia through oral sex. So go and get treated if you have any symptoms or get tested on a regular basis. The most common symptom of chlamydia in men and women is actually not to have any symptoms at all. Most people won't know that they have chlamydia, so they walk around passing it on to other people, which is why it's really important to get tested regularly. But if you do have symptoms, then it might include genital stinging, burning, or sens sensitivity really, especially when you go to the toilet, and that affects both men and women. Women might experience a vaginal discharge or have abnormal bleeding patterns. They might also feel more of an abdominal discomfort down below. Men might feel that they experience testicular pain or swelling in their testicles, or they might see that they've got a discharge coming out of their penis. For both groups of people, it's really important to get regular testing, uh, especially if you have any symptoms, because if you left it untreated, then it can lead to further complications like with fertility. Yes, chlamydia is curable, but only if you get the right treatment. So you need to make sure that you take your antibiotics as prescribed every day on time and you don't miss any of the dose. You need to make sure that you don't have sex while you're on medication. You can start having sex after you've completed your course and you need to make sure that your partner is also treated. If you've tested positive for chlamydia or if you think you have symptoms of it, please go and speak to a doctor. They'll give you the right treatment and they'll also make sure your partner gets treated as well, which is really important.